Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our mass making sessions. And if you follow along with my channel, you'll know that we are week number 119, would you believe? And we are rerunning through um, the workshops from previous um, weeks. So we are week number 119, rerunning week number 19. Um, so what we're going to be making today is the flip... Um, pockets or the pockets with flap uh, a flap pockets with a flap um <laughs> I didn't decide how to describe those so uh what you're going to need if you want to craft along is a selection of papers now you're going to want to want uh, want oh sorry I can't talk for some reason today uh what you're going to want is a selection of papers that are thick enough to kind of be a pocket on the page now personally I wouldn't use kind of copy paper thickness I would want something kind of a bit more robust than that um scrapbook paper is often ideal because that often is you know a little bit more sturdy if not you could use if you've done any kind of collage masterboards or anything like that they're going to be a bit more durable because, of course, you're going to have the kind of double layer of um, uh, paper. Um, but, yeah, I mean, anything really. I mean, you could use book page. Obviously, again, doubling it up or maybe even, you know, three or four sheets glued together. So as you have something firmish for your pocket. Then you're going to want something for your flap over the pocket. So, again, I prefer slightly thicker paper. Um, you don't have to. You could use copy paper for this. Um, I'm just quite clumsy and would probably tear it. So, just feel more comfortable using something a little bit more robust than that. Um, and to be honest, you could also use, if you've got some scrapbook paper. So, this scrapbook paper here, this is kind of thinner. Um, it's not as thin as copy paper, obviously. But it's not as thick as, like, the, say, 250 GSM quite thick scrapbook paper so this would be ideal to me this feels like it would be ideal for the flap rather than the pocket if you see what I mean so hopefully this will all kind of make sense once we get making some um you may want to have a bone folder if you've got one if you haven't don't worry you can just use your scissor handles again I don't ever measure and I don't ever kind of use a um you know paper trimmer so it's up to you really whether you want to use a paper trimmer or measure or anything um but if not wing it wing it with me <laughs> you may want to have a glue spreader I just use an old card you know like um credit card or you know uh, rewards card or something and you're going to need some glue um and I think that's pretty much all we're going to need so let's get making some of these so I think what I'll do let me put that to the side so first of all let's pull in the collage sheet that I kind of mentioned because this is a nice ideal kind of thickness it's nice and robust now to use as a pocket so I'm going to cut it in half first of all this has been um just collaged up on an A4 sheet so A4 um over here is kind of similar to like a legal kind of letter um size I think um now if I were making a journal and obviously I, you know, I took an A4 sheet and folded it in half and this is an A4 sheet collaged onto, obviously this is going to be the absolute size of the, you know, of my page, if that makes sense. So you're just going to want to bear that in mind and then make your sheets slightly narrower, if that makes sense. Because obviously, as you can see here, if you've gone the whole width, you're going to just have, you know, a struggle gluing that on, possibly. Um, so, you know, it's just something to bear in mind. And the same as if you're using kind of a 12 by 12 paper. So, for instance, here, when you cut it in, you're going to just want to cut it over. So it's just a fraction smaller, really, than the page. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. So I'm just going to cut this down here. And I want to just make two out of this paper or page. So that's the first one. And then the second one, just want to decide where to cut it. So I'm just going to cut it here. And to be honest, you know, they don't all have to be this way round. You might want to have some this way round, for instance. So, you know, again, just kind of mix it up and see, you know, see what takes your fancy when you're doing it. So let's do one you know, one this way up and one the other way up. So this one obviously going around this way. So I'm just going to take it in just very slightly kind of on the edge. Like I say, just so it's narrower than my page. So as you can see, 
it now would kind of fit to be able to glue that on. Okay, and then basically all we're going to do is literally attach like a couple of flaps. So I folded this ready in the middle and I'm just going to cut this down here. And to be honest, I've kind of done this wrong really. I should have, um, you know, folded this slightly over because now I'm going to have to trim it down on both ends. So it was a bit silly really, but yeah, I kind of was um, doing it on, on the fly while I was talking about something else. So I wasn't really focusing and concentrating. So how I like to have these is I don't want to have it completely covering my pocket because that feels a bit rubbish. I want to have it where you've got a gap around so as you can see kind of the pretty paper that's underneath if that makes sense. So for instance if I were to have it here I would want it kind of just a little bit bigger. So yeah I may want to have it kind of this sort of depth and then I've got quite a good space around either side. So just trim that down there and then I'm just going to take it down here on this edge. Again, I am not making a very good job of my cutting today so you're probably all thinking why doesn't she use a paper trimmer? She maybe would have more luck. Um, <clears throat> so, not sure what way up that went. I think that way. Like that and then you've got your flap that you can just glue on. Now I'm going to have to trim this down a bit more because I have made a really bad job of cutting that unfortunately. So yeah, this is a do as I say not as I do video obviously. Oh my goodness, I'm going to end up with nothing, nothing to glue on. It's just getting skinnier and skinnier. Oh I don't know what's going on. Oh, rubbish, absolutely rubbish cutting. Okay, so that's my flap there that I'm going to kind of have glued on there. I just need to just quickly trim this. I don't know what's going on with my cutting, so I do apologise there. I'm just going to keep this for something else, I think. So I'll put that to one side. And then all you're going to do is glue your flap down on the end. Okay, so like that. Okay, and I'll just press that down. Excuse my messy, messy wipe. I have been filming for my Christmas series, which I'm going to be doing. So yeah, I'm a few videos in. I've got quite a few more to to do, but that's what I've been filming this weekend. So <clears throat> okay. So that's all there is to these, like that. And then of course you can then you know, glue this down or you could, um, uh, you know, sorry, not glue it down, paper clip it on, sorry, there's something sticky now on my desk, which is now distracting me, I'm so sorry about this. Um, yeah, so you could then obviously paper clip this pocket here, you could put string around it or something, you could put like a little closure, you know, lots of different, um, you know, ways that you could close this off, or of course you could just leave it as a you know, a flap, it's not really going to go anywhere once it's on, you know, stuck onto your page anyway. But, you know, quite nice, aren't they? So we'll just pop that to one side and then we'll take the other one. And for this one, I'm going to have it... Uh, yeah, I might have it on the long side, if you see what I mean. So I'm going to just cut it down here, like that. Okay. One side. So if this then were a, you know, a tall pocket rather than, you know, a portrait pocket rather than a landscape, then obviously this then would be on this side. So let's just check that that's going to work. Okay, so again, made a horrible job of cutting. any better well it's not not brilliant still but it's okay so that can just go on there like that so again just take that and we're just going to glue that down here I mean to be honest I love an easy pocket and you know let's face it it doesn't get much easier than this but you know they're like I often kind of say with these things easy doesn't necessarily mean you know 
rubbish or basic looking. I think these look quite sophisticated when they're on the page. You know, they've got the flap. And like I say, you can then decorate that however you like, making that look, you know, as elaborate as you kind of want, really, with your closure and things. So just because they are super basic to make doesn't mean they're going to look super basic once they're on the page. But isn't that gorgeous? So super nice pocket. I mean, of course, you could use that still this way up, um, you know, or indeed this way up with a downwards flap. So they're really kind of um, versatile and you can then kind of change them around depending on how you want to have them on your finished piece. So let's pull in another piece and yeah, let's use some scrapbook paper. Now I've got quite a few scraps that are like this way on, if you see what I mean, where I've obviously done other things. So, for instance, with this one, we can cut this one down. So, again, just cut it sort of about here. It's going to need trimming because I'm sure that that's going to be too, too wide for a journal page. I don't even know if that's the size of a journal page, to be honest. But, yeah, let's just cut this down slightly more so as we're airing on the side of caution. And then what you could do is kind of mix this up with something different. So for instance, I've got this scrapbook paper, which I mean, how beautiful is this? So what I could do is just take it down here. Like that. And then a bit here. Okay. like that. So again, then just fold that over here. <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, this is one of those papers that's just gorgeous on both sides. So it's very hard to know which side I prefer, to be honest. But I mean, probably when it comes to it, I would probably find this side easier to work with because I feel, you know, this is a very pale green, which if I put it with the black, I will probably struggle you know, struggle to use that. So yeah, kind of often it's worth just thinking, you know, not even necessarily which side you prefer or which side you like best, but which side are you going to be able to use, you know, the best. Um, you know, because often I think scrapbook papers, they contain these gorgeous, gorgeous papers, but actually in a practical sense, they, you know, they're maybe not going to be very easy to use. So therefore it would be better probably to go with the side that you are going to be able to use rather than the side that you're going to struggle. So again, glue that down like that. And exactly the same, you know, you could then obviously use your string, use your, you know, closures in all different kind of ways, but isn't that just gorgeous? And then, you know, we could mix that up now with, for instance, this piece. I mean, how beautiful does that look? Love, love, love that. So let's just cut this one down. So, yeah, again, oops. going to take it in about here. Okay, and two here. Like that. Okay, and then... And just kind of fold that over on the edge. So I might want to just take this one down slightly because I think this is probably still a bit on the long side. <clears throat> and then I probably will make this slightly narrower like that. Okay. I'll just trim it down slightly more on this edge. Just because otherwise this one might be a bit too wide. You know, you might not have much of the underneath paper kind of visible there we go I mean you don't have to you could cover the whole thing I mean yeah I personally I I like to have the underneath paper showing um you know for a couple of reasons firstly because I think you might have something really pretty underneath and you don't want to hide it but also it lets everyone know that you've actually got you know that that's a flip if you don't have anything showing it might get missed 
you know it might just look like it's it's the pocket so you know again play around and kind of decide what what type of thing you like to do best but yeah personally I think these are really nice to have you know a bit of the actual paper underneath showing so press that down like that just put the excess glue so yeah they're really nice aren't they and you know I think you can do a lot with these I think they're quite you know quite varied in what you can do with them so like this one I mean it's gorgeous isn't it I love this um pink stripes so again just cut that down and then this one obviously I've kind of got this bigger I could have as a again this way on rather than sideways on you know portrait rather than landscape I don't know why I'm losing my words today but yeah something's throwing me off um so here I could use that one so again just go straight across here and then oops. yeah just checking which end I'd rather have, probably this end. So again, just fold that over there. And then I'm just going to quickly trim this down because it's not very straight. Oh, I've got another wipe that I have been drying on my drawer handle. So let's bring that one in so I've got a cleaner wipe. Um, so again, just glue that on down here. So yeah, so I'll stop talking you through the process now because obviously, you know, these are not very difficult at all. Like I say, I mean, these are going to be, the most fun is going to be, you know, picking what papers to put together, deciding whether you want it landscape or portrait, and then deciding on your closure if you want one. You know, like I say, you might decide that you don't even want or need a closure for some of these, you know, but you can have a lot of fun just kind of planning out and kind of deciding those kinds of things. So that's that one. But I think these are quite a good versatile pocket to just have on hand in your stash because, you know, you're going to be able to do a lot of things with these. And to be honest, depending on how plain or not they are on the back, you could use these as a journal card as well. They don't even have to be glued into your, you know, your book. So, I mean, this one, I mean, it's not really kind of very fussy. You could easily journal over that. But you could use it, you know, also put like a piece of coffee dyed paper over there. You could gesso over it or something like that. So they don't even have to be a glued in pocket. But, you know, you have obviously the basis for your glued down pocket. And then you can use them, you know, as you fancy when you come to actually use them. So, for instance, this one. Again, I'm a bit tempted now to use that black just because I really, really love it. Or, of course, I could just use the coffee dyed paper. That also looks very, very nice on there. Or we could use another scrapbook paper. I don't necessarily want to mix it with green, obviously, but I've got here some florally. Oh, not sure about that one. Right, let's just let's just scrap that idea. The other thing that I have got was, um, I've got here some of my um, Savile Row uh, papers and what else that I thought you could do. So I'm just going to cut the journaling card off of here. And again, this is trial and error. I don't know whether this is necessarily going to fit. It might be too big, um, but you could also mix things like this with something like this, for instance. So. Obviously, I'm going to need to cut this down because at the moment it's a little bit on the wide side. So I'll just take that down like that. And I'll just take it down on this side as well. Okay, and then just fold that over at the top like that. So you could have then something like that which is quite nice, isn't it? I mean, obviously it looks different at the moment, 
because you know this um scrapbook paper hasn't been coffee dyed or inked or anything like that so i mean it perhaps looks a little bit like um you know almost yeah clashy but to, you know once that's been coffee dyed or inked up it would look really quite nice together so you know don't be afraid to kind of mix up all of your different kind of pieces or you know like this it's a journal card mix those in with your um scrapbook papers and things as well and obviously this has been coffee dyed so you know it's wonderful and gorgeous when i tip you know um turn it up because it's got obviously lovely coffee dyed paper on the underneath so yeah mix and match that's what it's all about mix and match oops that's got a lot of movement on there so yeah let's just then fold that down okay squish that down there just make sure that that's yeah so yeah mix and match and kind of um you know see what you fancy doing kind of thing so that's another one and then another one which obviously this i just got this um idea while i was kind of looking at it but this one for instance you could just have like this you know so you've got the reverse on now i could just fold that over i'm not going to the reason i'm not going to is because obviously then this is going to be the same size as the underneath if that makes sense so i don't really want to have it the same size as the underneath i want to have the underneath bigger so i'm just going to go like that but then i'm going to trim this one down to have on the top as the flap so again who knows what type of job i have made of cutting that and sometimes your paper goes a bit wavy you know when it's been coffee dyed although i have ironed it you know it's sometimes a bit wavy now that's annoying because i've cut that actually reasonably straight but unfortunately not small enough so yeah let's come down a bit more in like that okay and then just squish that in like that so i mean that's another kind of option isn't it you know or you could have obviously used that with the matching side on the matching side if you see what i mean so instead of having a contrasting piece on the front it would have the same pattern overlaid on the same pattern if that makes sense so i'll try and show you that in a second what i mean i know i said i was going to stop talking through the process and so far all i've done is waffle on further about the process but it's because obviously as i'm doing these more and more things are just occurring to me so um yeah i mean they really are fun and i guess that's the sign of something that's quite good fun to make isn't it if more things occur to you as you're making them so there we go okay right i'm just going to quickly demonstrate here what i was talking about so for instance this one i'm thinking we could cut this down here probably needs to come in quite a bit like that okay oh gosh i've not made a very good job of cutting that now oh my cutting skills today absolutely shocking and then it could be overlaid with the matching piece, if that makes sense. So again, I'm just going to cut this down so it's slightly smaller, like that. And you can probably see then they're the same, you know, the same pattern, but just overlaying, you know, overlaying one another, which I think is quite nice to do as well. So yeah, just play around and see what kinds of looks that you can achieve. Cause I think these are pretty um, extensive in the, you know, the possibilities for them, to be honest. And you know, what, what better winning combination is there than endless possibilities and super simple. So, you know, you really can churn out a lot of these in a very, very quick space of time. So there we go. Right, I really am going to stop talking through the process now. So um, yeah, we can just kind of relax into this and have a have a catch up. So I hope everyone's doing really well. 
hope your week has started out well. If you, um, you know, watch my channel, you'll know that I generally film these on a Monday. So it is indeed Monday for me today. So, yeah, it's, well, it was looking quite a bright and cheery day. I have to say it seems to have clouded over slightly since I first started the video, but it's not looking too bad, to be honest. It looks okay. going to cut that in just so it's not quite so wide um yeah it looks it looks okay out there to be honest you know a bit nondescript really but hey nondescript is preferable isn't it to you know really horrible weather you know yeah i guess nondescript is better so when i took my daughter to school this morning I bumped into my old friend who I used to work with and um, well, it was so nice to see her. So yeah, I stopped and spoke to her for ages, about probably about 20 minutes because I haven't seen her for the longest time. So this is someone that I worked with at the university um, that, you know, that I left two years ago now. So, I mean, how time flies. I can't believe it's been that long already. Um, yeah, so I haven't seen her. I have seen her since I've left. You know, it's not been two years, but... I kind of just bump into her from time to time. She actually lives really close. She lives kind of over the back of my house. Um, you know, her house is kind of over the back of my house. Um, you know, but of course, we're all kind of like in cars and things like that these days. And, you know, yeah, often just don't really kind of see one another. And it's weird because normally when I bump into her, we'll have a, you know, a few times then of bumping into each other. So like, you know, over the space of say three weeks, I'll probably bump into her now about four times. And then I won't see her again for like months and months. But I think I saw her last, um, I think it was like back at the beginning of the summer. Um, she was at the gym that, you know, that I go to. Um, she was just doing like a trial session there. Um, she really likes going to the gym, but yeah, I think she thought that one wasn't for her. So she goes to a different one, um, you know, now. So I haven't obviously seen her there again ever since then. But um, yeah, that was the last time I bumped into her. Anyway, it was so nice. So, And she's just one of those ladies who she's so easy to chat to. And whenever I do bump into her, the conversation just picks back up just like, you know, as if no time's passed at all since I last saw her. And it was just like that this morning. So, um, yeah, we're going to meet for a coffee um, next week. So, yeah, really looking forward to that. So um, next Wednesday I'm going to meet her, which will be really, really nice. It's lovely, isn't it, when you just um, gel with someone like that. We just have loads and loads of stuff to chat about. I mean, I think she's one of those people who, you know, she's just very, very friendly and really great company. So I'm pretty sure she was just one of those people who conversation would just flow with whoever she bumped into. Because, yeah, she's just very good company. But, um, yeah, it was really nice to, to bump into her. So that will probably be my highlight of the day today. Um, bumping into her. So, yeah, always good to to see someone isn't it who you've not seen for a long time you know who you just gel with and you know really kind of connect with so okay this one's a bit lopsided to be honest I don't know whether I folded it a bit lopsided or whether it was my cutting it's better if I do it that way around um yeah so that was kind of on my way back from the school I was on my bike and she was just crossing the road. So obviously I stopped and yeah, had a bit of a chat with her. So that's probably why I'm in a bit, um, bit of a daze now, because I'm probably still digesting kind of, and you know, thinking about all the, all the things we chatted about, you know, nothing serious, obviously, um, you know, just nice kind of chit chat, but I'm probably a little bit kind of like, oh, wasn't that nice bumping into her. So yeah. So what else is new? Um, oh, I'm trying to think. Have I watched anything interesting? Oh, I did watch. Now, I watched this, I have to confess, the week before last. But I forgot to mention it in last week's video. So, um, yeah, I forgot to mention it. So I'll just quickly mention it now. I watched that thing that everybody's talking about now 
called Squid Game. Now I'm using these by the way because I've got tons and tons of these um, like off cuts from 12 by 12 that I have made other things with. So I've got lots in this kind of size. Um, so this is quite a good project to be able to use some of these up with. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm kind of predominantly using using these. Um, this time I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to cut it from the half point, if you see what I mean. Because that way I know that I'm cutting it with the edge missing. Um, yeah, so last week I had watched that thing that everybody's talking about called Squid Game. Um, yeah, I don't know whether this has kind of been trending everywhere or just whether it's trending in this country. I'm assuming it's trending everywhere. Um, but it's kind of like been like, you know, on the trending screen on Netflix for a few weeks now. Um, anyway, so I watched that. My son had watched it already. My middle son, he'd watched it already um, a few weeks back. And he kind of described it and I thought, oh, what a load of rubbish that sounds. You know, didn't really sound very good. And it is dubbed. Now dubbing's one of those things isn't it that I mean you do eventually kind of get used to it but for the first few minutes of watching it can be really irritating and I have to say in this particular instance it wasn't so much that it was irritating as in you know their mouths not moving in sync with the words which of course you know that does happen doesn't it when things are dubbed it was more <laughs> the voices that they chose. I just felt like they weren't the voices that those people would have, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, one of the characters, uh, you know, initially, uh, this did wear off. So whether I got used to it or whether the voice improved, I'm not really sure. But it just sounded like a computer generated voice. So, you know, kind of it was very... Um, monotone and yeah not very expressive and I just thought oh you know I don't think I'm going to be able to watch this because that voice is just driving me mad it was kind of like you know when sometimes and I think audio books have improved but certainly years ago when you used to do like an audio play and they just sounded exactly like the computer was just reading off with like no you know stop him for full stops or anything like that it was a bit like that and I thought wow you know don't think I'm going to be able to watch this just because of that well I have to say it did improve after that um you know I kind of got used to it but that's the point I'm not sure really whether it improved or whether I just got used to it I'm not quite sure which happened so like this one I could use this red on top of there would be quite fun to do so yeah let's do that shall we um yeah so that was kind of my issue was not so much you know the voices not moving in sync with the lips which of course that did also happen but it was more that I just thought oh that's that's not the voice that he would have you know like things like he would be smiling but the voice would be expressionless and it was like, well, that doesn't, you know, doesn't match what his face is doing. Um, yeah, so it was kind of things like that. But to be fair, I did, you know, I did get past that. So it was no longer a problem after the first kind of episode. Once I got used to it, it was like, oh, well, you know, it's fine. I'm not, not even noticing that now. So the whole of the first episode, I just kept thinking, oh, what is this? You know, what is this? Because it just seemed quite rubbishy and weird until the last like 10 minutes of the first episode and then it was like oh my goodness what is going on very hunger gamesy i must say yeah suddenly you're gripped and horrified at the same time so if you haven't watched that then <laughs> in the most horrible way I would say that that's, you know, that's worth a watch. Like I say, in the most horrible way, because, yeah, it's definitely not a nice, you know, warm, fuzzy thing to watch. It's pretty, oh, my goodness, horrifying and not that nice. But, um, yeah, it was gripping and it was it was good. So I watched the whole of that series. Um, 
thinking, did I watch the whole of that series in one week? I think I probably did. Um, did I watch it? All? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, it felt so quick. Actually, I'm going to use this, I think. It felt so quick that I'm trying to think now, did I watch it? I'm thinking, did I watch it in about four days? That can't be right, because how would I have watched that in four days? You know, surely there wouldn't have even been time to watch it in four days. But I watched it very quickly anyway, kind of raced through it. Um, I can't remember whether they might have been 45 minutes per episode. And actually, I've got this funny feeling that maybe one or two episodes were a different length to others. So anyway, it was... Um, yeah, it was quite good. So if you haven't watched that, I would say, you know, horrifying, but good. <laughs> so yeah, horrifying, but good. Definitely, you know, not going to leave you feeling warm and fuzzy. But hey, if you like something that's a little bit gripping and a little bit Hunger Games, then it's worth a watch. So yeah, that was what I watched last week. Um... What else? I don't think that I've watched anything else. Do you know, I honestly don't think I've watched anything else that's even worth mentioning. Pretty rubbish and thin on the ground on the TV. The TV front. So, yeah, not really great. Um, I did put my Christmas kit out there now. So, I haven't got round to filming any um, videos or anything with it. Because, as I say, I'm trying to film ahead to get something done for Christmas. Um... The lead up to Christmas, so not actually Christmas, but I'm trying to put a series together to do in the, you know, the Christmas countdown. So that is, yeah, I've filmed about four or five, I think, of those. So I've got about another seven left to film. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been kind of busy with. Uh, I'm trying to think really what else. So, yeah, obviously a massive thank you to anyone who's bought that Christmas kit already. Um, and for anyone who kind of is interested, you know, but kind of wary or, you know, would like more information, I will be definitely doing something with that Christmas kit. But I just haven't got round to it yet. So, um, yeah, I promise something will be coming. But just haven't got round to it just yet. So keep your eyes peeled. So this is just some of my pink Parisian um, papers and I just thought I would do one or two on here because it's, um, you know, this one was printed, it was uh, single-sided, so definitely made sense to do it on single-sided rather than waste something that's double-sided. Um, and it's been printed on 250 GSM paper, it was here from last week for something else. So yeah, I thought actually, let's do it here now wondering about mixing this with this black because as you know i love the black and how awesome does that look on there looks gorgeous doesn't it so yeah i'm going to do that so i'm just going to cut that down about there um yeah so thank you so much to those people who have bought the christmas kit already i mean seriously i can't believe we're even talking about christmas it's just horrifying isn't it so i saw a friend of mine last week um you know mum from the school who i'm good friends with and she just makes me laugh because she is very organized with christmas and we laugh kind of you know every year i've, I've known her for i guess about three years now but she just makes me laugh because she's one of those really organised people, you know, whose presents are like wrapped and everything by about, you know, the middle of November. And she said to me, oh, I can't believe it. She said, I've not done a single thing this year for Christmas yet. I laughed. I just said, well, I don't do a single thing for Christmas often until about the, you know, 15th of December. So, uh, yeah, that's just kind of normal for me. And then we talked a bit more and then she said... Oh, I did buy so-and-so's present. Oh, and I bought so-and-so's present. Oh, and I bought this one. So even though in her mind she feels like she's done literally nothing for Christmas, she's actually bought about, you know, six presents that she reeled off. So, um, yeah, I did laugh. I just thought, oh, <laughs> that's her idea of being disorganised. She's already bought, like, six presents. But she's just one of those very organised people, um, you know, and as you know, 
I couldn't be further from that. I'm kind of like, you know, winging a prayer, winging a prayer types, types of people. So, um, yeah. Right. Okay. So we've done quite a few. I'm going to put the pieces of paper to the side now. Let's count in how many we've done and we'll decorate up one or two, depending if we've got time to do two. So, yeah, I mean, they're super quick, aren't they? I feel like we've done a lot here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So, yeah, so let's just decorate one or two up. So let's go for this one. Because this was one of those ones that I said that I would use, um, you know, portrait rather than landscape. So I'm thinking this would be quite a cool one to do. Now, I've got these, which are my um, little Paris note cards and envelopes. So these were just, again, in my stash when I was going through the coffee dyed paper, picking some bits to use. This was in my stash ready coffee dyed and it's on nice thick cardstock so I thought actually this is going to be just perfect to use on the fronts of maybe some of these pieces now I have to say this in particular would look better actually obviously if this piece was landscape rather than portrait um but you know I think it still is is fine actually doing it this way around so, and actually, to be honest, this kind of demonstrates, you know, the versatility, I guess, of these pockets, doesn't it? Because we could have this, you know, right low down, like that. We could have it kind of in the middle, more like a belly band. We could even have it here on the outside. Oh, now I'm thinking I'm going to have to backtrack. I'm going to have to have this this way round because... Um, yeah, I'm really, really loving it like that, to be honest. So this, I'm thinking, is not probably going to fit on a page. So I'm going to just trim this down slightly. And I'll have to do it on either side. So it's a bit more symmetrical. There we go. So that looks good now. Yeah, and I just absolutely love this on the outside because doesn't that just go perfectly with what's on the inside? Now, what should we put on the inside? Let's just have a look and see what else I've got here. So I've got some of my faux stamped pieces. Let me just see, <clears throat> see whether I've got anything here. Oh, I might just cut this frame out. Okay. Yeah, we had such gorgeous weather the whole of last week. It was so beautiful. It was those crisp, cold days. I mean, they're absolutely my favourite, favourite, favourite days. And wow, it was just lovely. Um, the weekend, I'm trying to remember now, I think Saturday was quite grey. It's all kind of merged into one, to be honest. I can't really remember. I mean, like I say, I actually was in most of the weekend doing things. But um, yeah, I can't. I can't really remember what the weather was particularly like, but it wasn't overly nice. It wasn't like as gorgeous as it had been. You know, it wasn't horrible. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't lovely like it had been all week because during the week it had been really, really lovely. So, yeah, we'd been quite spoiled with the lovely, lovely weather. But, yeah, it definitely hadn't been as good as it had been, but it was okay. Right, just wondering whether I could have a little section that I could tear out and put into the frame. Now, that being said, what colour would I have? Oh, do you know, I've got another sheet of these and I should have, I should have brought them across. Too late now, because I don't want to have to stop the video and go and get them. Um, right, okay, so let's not bother doing that. Right, but let's definitely have this. So I'm going to have this on here like a um, pocket because it's just lovely, isn't it? So, yeah, let's just get the glue. Okay. 
Yeah, so, um, and I hope that, you know, if you've tuned in to my work and what's on your desk video, if you didn't catch my trailer, I just want to kind of put it out there because I know not everybody would obviously have bothered watching, you know, the trailer and, you know, that's absolutely fine. Um, but, you know, I really like to put the trailers out there because I think it really kind of gives you um, an overview of what to expect and what's going to be coming up. And especially in the case of this particular series, because if you caught the trailer, I did explain that oh, it was one of those stop and start um, videos. And I started doing the series way, way back in the summer. It might have even been in the spring. It was it was a long time ago, let's just say. And um, yeah, unfortunately, I kind of then I didn't get around to finishing it because. Oh, I'm loving that, actually. Um, didn't get around to finishing it because I then, you know, got waylaid with other things, you know, like we do. And um, so in the meantime, my desk got messier and messier and messier and messier. So in the meantime, I kind of kept thinking, oh, my goodness, I've still got to finish that what's on my desk series. But of course, you know, how could I do that? Because my desk was actually looking worse and worse by the day. So I kept thinking, oh, I'll go back to this, I'll go back to it, I'll go back to it. Well, of course, I, I didn't really. So I did do my best to resurrect it. Um, and I did two videos in that, you know, resurrection. Um, both of which, you know, kind of, yeah, just then, you know, I just didn't get round to going back to. So um, the series ended up, it's got eight episodes I mean, I say constantly through the series because, of course, I didn't realise that was going to happen when I was filming the series. You know, that I could have probably done with 10 days working with what's on my desk. It ended up being eight because, like I say, it kind of almost ended up just, you know, not going ahead at all. Because, you know, I'd left it for so long and the desk was just piling up. So it was one of you lovely ladies. I think it was Laurie. Um you know, but I do apologise now because it's hard to remember kind of, you know, who suggests um, what. But if it was you and it wasn't Laurie, I apologise. If it was Laurie, thank you so much. Um, because she said, just put, you know, just put the series up there in what you've got now. Um, because that's, you know, that's honest and that's how we craft, isn't it? You know, that kind of, you know, we think, oh, we're going to do this. Um, you know, like what's on my desk or whatever. And then, of course, we get waylaid and we get, you know, distracted and we do something else. And she's so right. And what a brilliant idea. So, um, yeah, thank you so much if it was you, Laurie. And I apologise, like I say, if it wasn't you and it was somebody else, I do apologise. But thank you so much for saying that because it kind of spurred me on and gave me the confidence to put that, that series out there, which otherwise I would have filmed, you know, all those videos, which was probably like, you know eight hours worth of videos and you know they wouldn't have gone up there and so what a waste of of filming and things so yeah thank you so much I felt encouraged and I've put it up you know I'm putting it out there anyway but I do apologize because obviously if you are getting into it it's it's not going to have achieved you know what I had hoped I I do not clear my desk off my desk looks absolutely worse now than it did at the beginning of those videos so in the new year of course I do need to do another working with what's on my desk because my desk has become so outrageously bad um but yeah I've obviously got a few other things planned for the new year and thanks so again that will probably all just be shelved for a little while and who knows when it will actually go out there. But eventually, eventually, <laughs> we will have another What's On Your Desk series. And um, yeah, I really hope that you'll all obviously join me for that. And, um, you know, maybe we will actually make some progress and actually clear a bit of what's on my desk. So because I'd made such fantastic progress, obviously, you know, and I'm not being kind of conceited when I say that but you know had made really good progress with my tidy Fridays you know thanks to all of you guys being so supportive and encouraging and helping me and I know that lots of you joined in with the tidy Fridays and you know we really kind of cleared up and got a lot achieved and then of course I haven't really done them you know I haven't done anything since I've stopped them I haven't really kind of kept on top I mean some I have to be truthful some things are still you know pretty tidy compared to how they were but a lot of things, it's got to be said, have really become very messy. So, um, 
Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? It is a little bit too big, to be honest, but but I'm tempted to go for it anyway. Um, just wondering whether I've got another one of these on the desk because I've been using these ruffles recently. I wonder if I've got any more here. Again, I don't want to have to stop the video and go and dig one out. Um, yeah, so, you know, I had made quite a bit of progress and was feeling really thrilled with the progress that I've made. But yeah, although I have kept up with some of it, some bits have obviously, you know, deteriorated. So I'm just putting it out there that, yeah, at some point, and I don't want to commit myself to when, but at some point we will do another not not a tidy friday necessarily kind of series because um you know that yeah that was probably overkill you know i perhaps don't need to do as much as every week um but that said i probably could do with doing something so we'll do some sort of you know working with what's on your desk or something in the new year I mean to be honest at the moment I've got so many unfinished projects all around me um, and so many unfinished things that actually most of it is behind my desk I'm at the point where I'm kind of having to climb into my area so <laughs> instead of being a working with what's on my desk it's probably going to be a working with what's around my desk because that seems to be the um, you know the main problem at the moment is what's around my desk so here, we're just kind of building this frame up. So this frame here, this is from my faux stamped images. This is one of my labels. And obviously this here is just some scrapbook paper. But can you see, we're just kind of building up by placing one bit on top of another. And it just really has kind of then, you know, made the most of each piece, hasn't it? So um, yeah, let's kind of get this one on here. Like that, ooh, like that. And it's just kind of helped to emphasise that frame, hasn't it? So it looks really, really lovely now. Would like something else on here, but I don't know quite what. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe a butterfly would be good. Uh, right, let's see. No, not that bag. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of... Um, you know things this weekend so now I seem to have bags and stuff everywhere from you know from the weekend so I don't think that's really the right colour green um, hmm. not really is it let me just ink this up see what happens to it when I ink it up Oh, it's still staying the same shade, isn't it? It's just it's just becoming distressed. Yeah, it's not really right. Um, let's see what else I've got in here. That's also not the right colour green. Uh, what about that? Oh, that's a bit better, maybe. Let's have a quick look. How about you guys? Are you, um, you know, are you Christmas people? Are you organised Christmas people? Are you a bit like me and a bit of a shambles and kind of leave it till the last minute? Oh, how do you roll in the um, in the Christmas kind of thing? Oh, I love that, to be honest. That's gorgeous. I'm going to put that down there. Um, yeah, how do you roll with the Christmas thing? Are you are you organised, not organised? You know, how how do you get on with it? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but actually I love being disorganised for Christmas. Um, if I kind of like got really on top of it very early on, I don't think I'd feel very festive. You know, it would feel a bit, um, yeah, just not, not really very festive, to be honest. I like the mad rush kind of at the end. And um, yeah, it, just, it feels exciting. Whereas if I had kind of got on top of it and it was all very organised and everything else... I think I'd feel a bit bored when it got near Christmas. It would be like, oh, I don't really feel Christmassy at all because everything's done. I mean, that said, it maybe would be quite nice because I'd be looking around at things that are ready wrapped and all that. I don't know. Um, yeah, let me know what what you think. You know, how do you how do you do Christmas? Do you 
generally like to be organized do you you know do you like the mad mad brush right at the end i mean i just can't believe we're even talking about christmas like i say it feels like you know what we're talking about christmas already it just doesn't really seem quite possible does it that it's you know christmas here already i mean not that it is here already yet obviously but i'm just going to cut this a bit thinner sort of and i'll just take another piece just in case you know then i've got them both here that i can kind of try one and then the other should i want to oh, i don't know now let me just ink this lace up I definitely want some lace I just don't know where where is it going to look best I mean I've stuck this on as a pocket so I feel like the lace is a little bit you know in the way the same here I've stuck this on as a pocket as well but to be honest it doesn't really matter you know I don't have to use it as a pocket like we always say um you know I've just given myself the option there so obviously if I'm now covering it up with lace it's going to be harder to get to not impossible but harder to get to and use that's that's fine it doesn't really matter and then of course I'm now thinking maybe a bit of black bling because the um underneath i.e here it's got that nice black hasn't it so yeah let's let's pull in a bit of black bling okay oh how pretty does that look I love how that looks. Right. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. There we go. I love how that looks. I mean, it's quite simple, isn't it, on that um, front now? But it looks very, very pretty. So let's pull in all the ones that we did and kind of just check them out because obviously I'm not going to have time to do any more decorating because I think we're at 57 minutes. I have to put my glasses on properly to see. But yeah, I think we're at 57 minutes. So let's just pull these all in. We have an abundance of different ones here that we've made. So yeah, loving all what we've made. But this one especially, how gorgeous and scrumptious is that? So yeah, I really hope that you like them um, and I hope that you managed to get lots made. Like I say, super versatile. Just, you know, chop them and change them as you fancy. Add decorative papers, coffee dyed papers, you know, whatever you like. And um, yeah, just have fun with them and post some of your pictures on the Facebook group and things. So yeah, thank you to everyone who obviously engages in the Facebook group. Again, and I know I've said this so many times, I really do apologise that I still haven't managed really to get on there. Um, you know, I do really want to start kind of getting on there, but it will have to probably be next year now. Um, I have still got something planned video wise to do with the Facebook group. But again, that will probably now be in the new year. Um, but a massive thank you to Michelle, because I know that she runs everything, you know, just fantastically over there. So, um, yeah, thank you so much to Michelle. Thank you so much to all those lovely people who are on there, you know, playing and having fun and crafting together. Um, and yeah, post your lovely um, versions of these, you know, because I'm sure that everyone would love to see them. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a fantastic week and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.